Have you ever wondered how a drug ends up on the shelves of your pharmacy? It's not just about completing preclinical or clinical trials. The drug must pass the ultimate test by the FDA, where every detail, from the discovery of the molecule to its testing in humans, is reviewed in a document called the New Drug Application. After a drug successfully passes clinical trials, the next important step is applying for approval to sell the drug in the market. This is done through a process called the new drug application. An NDA is like a detailed application or proposal that a pharmaceutical company sends to the Food and Drug Administration. This application includes all the information about the drug, starting from how it was discovered, manufactured, tested during clinical trials, and how it should be used. The goal of the NDA is to convince the FDA that the drug is safe, effective, and ready to be used by patients in the United States. Only after the FDA approves the NDA, drug can be sold in the market. Let's dive into the main sections of the new drug applications that the FDA looks at before making an approval decision for any drug. So the first section is preclinical data. Before testing any new drug on humans, that drug first tested on animals to check if the new drug is even safe to consider for testing in humans. This part of the NDA includes all the early findings related to the drug, like results from animal studies showing whether the drug is safe and at what doses this drug might work in humans. For example, if a company develops a new diabetes drug, they first test that drug on rats to see if it lowers blood sugar without causing harm. Second important section of the new drug application is clinical trial data. This is the most important section of the NDA because it shows how the drug works in humans during clinical trials. This section includes detailed data from all three phases of clinical trials. Let's understand this section with the help of example. For a cancer drug, the company would include data from phase 1 trials, which includes how the drug was tolerated by 50 patients, then data from the phase 2 trials, which includes results showing tumor shrinkage in 200 patients, followed by the data from phase 3 trials, which includes results from 1,000 patients confirming the drug's effectiveness and side effects. The third important section of new drug application is manufacturing details of drug. The FDA needs to know that how the pharmaceutical company planning to manufacture the drug safely and consistently before approving it. This section includes information about how the drug is manufactured, where the active ingredient and other ingredient used in the drug formulation comes from, and the quality control steps in place to ensure that every batch of the drug is with the same consistency. For example, for a painkiller tablet, the company explains the source of the active ingredient, the steps followed in the factory to manufacture the tablets, and tests done to confirm that every tablet has the correct amount of the drug and dissolves properly in the body. The fourth important section of the new drug application is labeling and usage information. This is not just the label on the drug bottle. It's a guide for doctors, pharmacists, and patients on how to use the drug safely. The labeling must include dosage instructions, which is how much and how often drugs should be taken, warnings about side effects of drug, details about who should or should not use the drug, for example, pregnant women, children, or people with certain conditions. So these are the four important sections in the NDA. Each section helps the FDA understand if the drug is safe for patients, effective for treating the intended condition, pharma company is able to consistently produce high quality batches, and proper labeling. The FDA carefully reviews all this information before deciding if the drug can be approved and sold. This process ensures that only safe and effective medicines reach the public. Once the NDA is complete, it's time for submission. 
the FDA follows a rigorous multi-step review process to determine if the benefits of the drug outweigh any potential risks. First step is application review. In this step, the FDA reviews the application to make sure all required information is present. This step alone can take up to 60 days. Then second step is expert evaluation. In this step, team of scientists, medical officers, pharmacists, and other experts goes through every detail mentioned in the NDA. This team assess data accuracy, clinical trial outcomes, and safety profile of the drug. Third step is labeling discussions and final approval. If everything in the NDA is appropriate and complete, the FDA and the pharmaceutical company mutually finalize the labeling of the drug to make sure it's clear and comprehensive. And after this, the FDA can officially grant approval to pharmaceutical company who submitted the NDA to sell the drug in the market. That's it for today's video, friends. If you like this video, you may also like the video I have created on the topic, Investigational New Drug Application. Check out that video from here. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon in the next video.